three concentric spherical metallic shells x y and z of radius a b and c so here we have this one then this is two and this is three so we have three metallic shells right each so first having radius a second having b and the third having radius c right c has the highest radius that is the largest and a is the smallest radius have surface charge density sigma minus sigma and plus sigma respectively the shells x and z are at the same potential so this uh, shell one and this third shell are at the same potential okay if the radius or the radii of x and y are 2 cm and 3 cm so the radius of the first and the second shell right here it is 2 and this is 3 cm then what is the radius of the z shell see surface charge densities are given so whenever we have surface charge density we can find out the charge so the charge on dx is given by qx equals to sigma into ax so here it is sigma into a right which is the surface area so it is a sphere so area of sphere is 4 pi r square so it is 4 pi a square now the second shell has a surface charge density minus sigma so the charge on the y shell is minus sigma because surface charge density is minus sigma into its surface area that is 4 pi b square and similarly for z now now as per the given question the potential on surface of x is equals to surface of z here the shell x is inside the shell y and shell z therefore the potential on surface of x is due to three charges that is the charge qx on surface of x due to the charge qy on surface of y and due to the charge qz on surface of z now if i have a shell of radius r then the potential on the surface is kq by r and the potential from center of the shell to the surface remains same that is if i consider the potential inside z any point inside z due to the z only if i consider the electric potential due to shell z at any point inside this shell due to the charge on shell z is given by equation kqz by c where c is the radius of the z shell right so here we have this shell x so the potential due to charge on x plus there will be a potential due to charge on y plus there will be a potential due to charge on z so due to shell x it is given by equation kqx by a where qx is the charge on x then for shell y the potential inside and on the surface of y due to charge on y is given by equation kqy by b so here it is kqy by b and similarly the potential due to the shell z due to charge on z shell is given by equation kqz by c now we have to find that is potential we have to find potential on z shell okay now if i consider this z shell right then it has uh, charge q z right so the potential on the surface of z due to the z shell is given by equation k q z k q z by c but inside the z shell there is one more shell and that shell is y so there will be potential due to this shell y on the surface of z right now uh, if I have a shell whose radius is B but the point is at distance C and charge on it is it is QY then the potential at this point is given by equation KQY by Z right because in general terms we write KQ by R where Q is the charge and R is the distance right so from the center of this Y shell the distance of the surface is C right surface of z is c so the potential at this point due to y is given by equation kqy by c so it is kqy by c similarly inside this z we have another shell kq uh, we have x shell now due to this x shell the potential on the surface of z is given by equation kqx by z where qx is the charge on x and z sorry the distance is c so it is kqz by c where c is the distance from the center of the x shell to the surface of z
right now what we will do right we have we have already equated now we will cut this 4 pi epsilon naught 4 pi epsilon naught 4 pi epsilon naught this 4 pi epsilon naught everything will get cancelled so we, rem we are remaining with q's qx here qy and here qz so we will put values right so qx is sigma 4 pi a square so sigma 4 pi a square similarly qy is minus sigma 4 pi b square and similarly qz is sigma 4 pi c square so just we have put all these values now what we will do we will cut all this common so it is 4 pi common and sigma these all terms are common from all this expression and will get cancelled so here uh, we are remaining with uh, a square and a will get cancelled so at this point we are remaining with a only right at, in this we are remaining with a only so here i have a here b and square will get cancelled so it is minus b because in between there is sign b and here c and c square but here sign is plus so plus c so on LHS side, we are remaining with A minus B plus C. Now, if we talk about RHS side, we are remaining with here A square minus B square plus C square by C. Now, we bring this C towards this side. Okay, then we are remaining with here it is uh, uh, C. You can take common also, right? So uh, here uh, C into A minus B plus C is equals to A square minus B square plus C square. Now multiply this C in. So we are remaining with AC minus BC plus C square is equals to A square minus B square plus C square. So this C square and C square will get cancelled, right? Again, we are taking uh, this uh, common, right? We can take common here C. So this becomes C common. So here A minus B is equals to A square minus B square. Uh, we are remaining Remaining with uh, here, I am resolving this part here. I am resolving this part here. So it is C into A minus B is equals to A square minus B square, and this A square minus B square can be written as A minus B A plus B. It is an identity, right? So A minus B A minus B will get cancelled. So we are remaining with C is equals to A plus B. Now A is two and B is three, so it is two plus three is five centimeter.